Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've just had delivery of the Ring Alarm wireless home security system. So I'm going to set this up today and see how it pans out. So there is the ring sensors, one, two, or ring door sensors, one, two, and three. Uh, the motion detectors are here, one, two. And the ring base station, along with the ring keypad. Okay, I'm not gonna go too much into detail on how to set the actual base station up. Uh, what I will do is, on the comments below, I'll put a link to the ring basic 15 minute setup, which can actually guide you through the actual setup of the base station. Next, I'll show you where I installed the base station as well as the keypad. And also following that, I'll show you how I installed the door sensor as well as the PIR motion sensor. Two screws mounted on for the bracket there. And then same again with the base station. I've got screw two screws at the back. For the patio door, I used the self-adhesive tape uh, as I didn't want to use the screws and uh, mess up the doors. There you go, that works. I've got my friend down there who's helping me today. That's my neighbor's cat. Okay, so we're at my uh, computer room window and I have the sensors over here, the sensor with the contact. Let me give it a good clean. So let's put the plastic bracket on the back of this sensor. So you just simply click it in. Simple as that. There we go. Stick that on the back. Looks good. There's the line which is going to match the sensor. So let's uh, take the backing off. There we go. Right. That's ready to go on the window. So there's a line I'm going to match when I connect the other sensor to the window. So I'll keep that to the top. And I'm going to put that uh, about there. I'm going to push this guy now. So first we're going to put the backing plate on like this. Push down and then up. There we go. Stick that one like so, make sure it's straight. There we go. Take the backing sticker off. Okay, so now that's ready to be stuck on. Match, always remember to match the little line with a little line on the magnet, like so. Right, let's give it a test. There we go, looks good. Perfect. Let's give you a closer look. Okay, so I've already cleaned the area where I'm gonna stick the motion sensor over here. Let's peel that off. Stick one on one corner. Put that in as well, like so. Let's get the plate on. Press that in, okay. Now, I just plug this sensor in. Okay, next with the assistance of Kian and Coco, they're gonna help me show you the pet-friendly settings on the PIR motion sensor. Uh, there's two settings, 13 kilograms and 22 kilograms. And basically this is so that when you set the alarm, uh, your pets don't activate the alarm while you're away. Okay, Kian, are you ready for the test? Hey, Kian. There you go, all right. And there we go. So he's walked right past the sensor. 
uh, and no activation. So it seems to work fine. Now I'm gonna just follow him so we should hear the chirp. There we go. Okay, should we try that again? All right, let's go back there, come on. Okay. That was detecting me again, right? Let's try one more time. Kian, come on then, let's do the test. And there we go. So it looks like it's pretty good with the pet friendly settings. So there are two settings. I'll take a print screen to show you where they are. Let me show you on the browser version of Ring on how to disarm and arm the alarm. Um, so here you can see that it is alerting me that the alarm is uh, disarmed and all sensors are cleared. So it's just a simple case of hitting away and you should hear the alarm activate. So it's basically doing a 60 second countdown. Now I'm going to do cancel away. There's a lot of configurations you can play around with. Uh, for example, if you're home, you can set which sensors you want to have turned off or on. So you could have just the doorways activated if you're going to bed. The other beauty with the configuration is that if you have got any ring video cameras, you can have it so that when the alarm is activated, all the video cameras go on and start recording. Uh, which is something that I've done all across the cameras around my house. Okay, before I wrap things up, I'm going to give you a quick demo on the keypad on how to arm and disarm the alarm. So I'm going to enter in my code and then I'm going to press away. So let me enter the code in. And press away. So let me enter the code in. Here we go, it's going off. And now I'm going to cancel that. So I'm going to enter up my code again. And then disarm. 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 Okay. Well, thanks for watching my review and I hope you enjoyed it. And please subscribe if you did.